Now, just for simplicity and efficiency's sake, I'm leaving the camera running while I'm doing this in real time because I might as well be recording. It costs me nothing to do so. Um, might as well be sharing any Eureka moments. And uh, by the way, the word Eureka is father, and then moments will add more threes to it. Uh, so the word shall equals salt equals last equals, um, uh, or no, sorry, shall, yeah, no, it does equal that, equals salsa. And I was getting a revelation from the Lord as I ate some tortilla chips, equals spice, salt equals spice equals salsa. And that is the last uh, item that you put on it to make it the best, the flavor of father. Okay, here we go. Um... For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Um, okay, and, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. Um, fascinatingly, we were divers in places are mathematically identical. Divers places, and there shall be shall be, shall do, plus one, plus one, there shall be famines and troubles. Fascinatingly, famines and troubles are both plus one. Just like the word wars, Jesus said these things must happen. And then he says, look at how the last word is always plus one. Now he says, these are the beginnings Beginnings is amazing. Uh, the word begin is plus one for father. He's the beginning of everything. And then that's a revelation. God the Father is the author of all beginnings. Like think of all the human babies being born as we speak. Beginnings, therefore, is an awesome father word. Beginnings, plural. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Plus one. The last word is for father every single time. There shall be famines. Plus one. And. Plus one. Troubles. Plus one. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Like, <laughs> it's just, that is what we feel before we get to heaven. So, um, but begin and beginnings. There's your 30, 37 for begin. And then the rest will add 33, 79, 70. Wow, beginnings equals the famous 100 for father. Plus 1 over 99. Plus 42 from father. Beginnings. Oh my gosh. And zero. So God the Father is over all. You can add the word new in front, all new beginnings, because that would add amazingly if you talk about new beginnings now. This is so cool. Um, because new adds 42 to the 42 that's already on top of father. So new beginnings is therefore father plus 42 plus 42. Genius. But what I notice is at the dead center of the word beginnings, the very dead center, the pair of ends equals the dead center of father. Just like the word kiss. Isn't that amazing? The TH equals the double N. Pfft, that's flanked in a pair, the, the two letters that divide by three. Wow, making 18, just like the AE in father. That's, oh my gosh, look at beginnings. This is my new favorite word. And you see, I had to pluralize it to get the glory. Look at that. Look at how perfect that is. TH equals NN, flanked in pair of I's, flanked in GN, which divides by 3, flanked in EG, which divides by 3, flanked in BS, which divides by 3. That is absolutely stunning. Just like the word science for father. That is absolutely stunning. That has never been understood by man until now that father owns all beginnings. You can add the word new in front. He owns all beginnings. Wow. <laughs> the first word of the Bible, but it was in the beginning, but it was meant to go even higher by pluralizing it. There have been an infinite number of beginnings <laughs> since God began doing his work. Beginnings, beginnings, beginnings. Wow. New beginnings. Father, in the name of the Father. That is so stunning. The number of plus twos outweighs the plus ones by exactly two, just like in the word Father. There are two letters that divide by three, just like the two in Father. Beginnings is like my new favorite word. Beginnings, Father. 
Wow. Father owns all new beginnings. So if you want something new to happen in your life, you have to ask the Father for it. Okay. Or just trust his sovereignty and thank him for all the new beginnings that he's already giving you free of charge. I mean, what is it, like 99.9% of the things we ever receive from God we didn't even ask for anyways? Whatever. Okay, let's keep doing that. Beginnings. Huge word for... That was a massive find. So what is the grand total... 21 plus 12, 33. Love. Oh my gosh, it's love wrapping in the three ends. Love plus 1872. Ouch, that's so good, it's painful. 72 plus 28. Oh my gosh. Beginnings. Oh yeah, I already did it. Beginnings equals 100, but as we studied that more, we got more amazement. Um. And I'll bet you you can find fa Father bang on the nose. You just need to add 30 points to the double N in the center. Which I'll bet you you can do with a little bit of work. Yeah, just the E and the G and I and I is one way of doing it. So you can find Father in order in the word beginnings. Take the six letters E, G, I, N, N, I. Bang. And so even if you just say the word beginning, you've still captured Father de facto near the center. Okay, that was huge. You can solve famines, troubles, sorrows. The word weakness is also a father. Okay, that's cool. But take heed. So this is another triple. But take heed. Father, father, father. But take heed to yourselves. Interestingly, when you say to yourselves, that will also yield Father, but take heed to yourselves. So it's so cool when Jesus says, but take heed to yourself, that's a that's a fourfold plus one combo to make an ultimate plus one offset for Father. It's like plus one, plus one, plus one, plus wraps around to plus one total. For they shall, plus one, plus one, <laughs> okay, deliver you up to councils and in the synagogues. You shall be beaten. And you shall be brought before rulers and kings. Testimony against them. Last word then. And the gospel. The first word is almost always and the gospel must first be published among all nations. Deliver you up, take no thought beforehand, but you shall speak, neither do you premeditate. Um, but whatsoever shall be given to you in that hour. That speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost speak. Now the brothers shall be prayed for his death in the fall of the Son. And the children shall rise up against their parents and shall go put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But ye shall do it. Wow, oh, crazy. If you start to, um, even just the word woe. <laughs> And the stars of heaven in those days after the tribulation. The sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall. And fall shall. And the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. 
crazy old plus one words here, shall be shaken. Heaven. Fall shaken. And then, I'm just kind of jumping ahead to the glories of Revelation. And then shall they see. So the Son of Man. The Son of Man is a gorgeous father, said a letter. It's plus one. The Son of Man coming, plus one. In the clouds, that statement is plus one. With great power and glory. Power equals glory. And then, um, okay, you put those two here, the power and glory. And then he shall send his angels, equals Father, and shall gather together his elect from the four, from the uttermost. Oh yeah, the uttermost is a huge plus one, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of the heaven. That's a huge word, the uttermost. And then the word part in heaven. From the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Uttermost plus one. Now plus one. Learn a parable. Plus one of the fig tree. And some people say that the fig tree represents Israel. And Israel and fig tree are plus one father. It's like parable. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When her branch plus one. Her plus one is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, plus one. Leaves like fruits, just like branches, are all plus ones. When a branch is yet tender and putteth forth, just like the word buds. Hmm. Um, when a branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is near. So ye in like manner when you shall see that these things come to pass. Know that it is nigh even at the doors. Verily I say to you that this generation shall not pass till these things be done. This is one of the coolest. So heaven and earth. One, one, one. Heaven and earth. This is a mind-blowing symphony. Shall pass. One, 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 one. For the Father away is plus two. But, plus one, my two, but my words, plus one, shall not pass. The only three words in that entire verse that are plus two and not plus one are away, away, and my. And so that would all knit together. One, two, three, four, five. Offset of seven up until there. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the whole thing divides by three gorgeously. Heaven and earth shall pass, but my words shall not pass. <laughs> There's that famous movie line, you shall not pass. It's just all these plus one father words, plus one, plus one, plus one, the most extreme words there are. Heaven and earth shall pass. And away is plus two. But my words shall not pass away. <clears throat> Heaven and, isn't that amazing? Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. <sighs> but it's all for the Father. These plus one words... words. So by way of review, heaven is 55, three points less than Father. Earth is the last five letters of Father, being geniusly 52, three points less than heaven, six points less than Father. Um, it's not the word pass, then comes back to equal 55, which is heaven, the first word. Words, of course, is 79. My words shall not pass away. Now this is where he, see, he always saves the best for last. And so he says all this, but now he glorifies the Father, the Sovereign God. 
but of that day and that hour knoweth no man. All these plus ones in there. No, not the angels, which equals Father, which are in heaven, plus one, neither, plus one, the Son, but, plus one, the Father. And that is the king name above all names. Now he finishes with the big kingpin, the, the letters above all letters, the Father. But it's all a giant symphony up until that climax. The Father, in fact, the whole thing is, but of that day and that hour, no, with no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven. Neither the Son, but the Father. So when you say the Father, that adds to 91, which equals spirits and a bunch of other famous things. The Father. Now, another, and then he says, take ye heed, or simply take heed. Again, plus one, plus one, Father, Father. Watch and pray. Watch his Father. Take heed, watch and pray. Okay, then. For ye know not when the time is. Last word, Father. The Son of Man is, is as a man, plus one, taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, plural, Father. Servants like saints is plus one, servants. Saints. You could also say serfs if you were in the Middle Ages. Um, children works. Saints. Servants. It's amazing. So this is the symphony to the Father. To his servants. 42, even servants is an even number. 27, 42, 60, 80. Servants is 118, 60 points over. Father to his servants. And then when you say his, it adds sixes. And to every man his work. Father. And commanded the porter to watch. And watch is the king final word. Watch ye therefore. For ye know not when the master, plus one, of the house cometh, plus one, at even, plus one, or at midnight. Now I know night is plus one. Or at the cock crowing, this is a riddle here, at evening is plus one, or at midnight, I know night is plus one, or at the cock crowing. Really? That's a word we don't have in our... Cock crowing is a fantastic set of letters for father. I'm assuming that means, like, dawn. If we follow the progression of, Jesus says evening first, then he says midnight, then he would say cock crowing. Would that be dawn? I don't know. And then morning after that? If you take it letter for letter, you have plus one. Midnight is, um, then divides by three plus one. But cock crowing is just a mind blowing because you have the three plus two is a single plus one, the rest of the letters divide by three, or the cock crowing were in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all. Like this, it's God is sovereign over everything, including verse numberings. Like the final verse is 37, which is plus one. This is occurring in chapter 13, which is plus one. In the Gospel of Mark, Mark is plus one. And so pay attention to this final verse in the red letters of this great grand symphony of Jesus. And, plus one, Father. What? Plus one, Father. I is three times three, maintains the threes. Say, divides by nine, maintains the threes. Unto, plus one, Father. You, plus one, Father. I, three times three, say, pure threes. Unto, plus one, Father. All, plus one, Father. And the final word, the last word belongs to Father. Watch. <laughs> it just, it's the final pin. The last words for the plus one Father. So how many plus ones are in that last sentence? One, two, three, four for the first half. The first, and then 
one, two, three. Amazing. So there are a perfect total of seven plus ones in that last sentence, meaning seven is a plus one number, meaning that the overall offset of that entire verse is plus one for the father. Starting in a plus one word, ending in a plus one word, and you heard all of them. And I testify that these are some of the meekest words. They are not, they are the most repeated words. Like they're so common, but people gloss over them because they're so common. But so, and what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And there's, so, and what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And what I say unto you, I say unto all. You could substitute speak, and I'll speak is plus one. What I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. <laughs> 24 plus, so 27 plus 28. Watch is 55, three points less than father. Wow. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. You know, all these metaphors that God gives, it's like, you know, dad's coming home. You know, like when dad goes to work and the kids don't know when he's going to come home, but it's like, watch, dad's going to come home. <laughs> father, father, okay. Um, so, uttermost. So it's all for the father. That was a huge symphony. And now you have, so it's amazing. You have two feasts that take place now. Pay attention to the number two, it equals father, T-W-O. After two days, of course it was two days, just like it was the widow's two mites. If you do a, a search for T-W-O in your English King James Bible, and just study all the instances of two, it'll blow your, blow your mind because two equals father. So from the very beginning, the fact, like in creation, there's two of everything. Two of everything, the sun and the moon, the day and the night, male and female, two halves to every creature, physically. <laughs> they came into the ark two by two. And two, T-W-O equals father. So everything in creation has two halves. Well, father. Even the word halves is plus one for father. Two halves make a whole, we say. The word halves is... 34 is is father right on the end, right on the end of it, and plus 9, so it's halves equals water for father. 2, 2, 2, 2 by 2. So now you're paying attention to the TWO everywhere. After two days was the feast, this is so divine. So this is amazing. So the feast of Passover is plus 1 for father, and then the feast of unleavened bread is plus 1 for father. So apparently these are happening simultaneously. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft and put him to death. But they said not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar of the people. And being in Bethany, in the house of Simon the lepers, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment of spikenard. You know, spikenard is plus one. And you can just do these things very quickly. Um, alabaster, whatever that is, is plus one. Spikenard. So that's a plus one item. Um, and then it follows that by saying very precious. Both words are plus one, plus one. The best. She gave her very best. Spikenard, very precious. Plus one, plus one, plus one. And she break. The word break is plus one. Break. And she break the box and pour. Plus one. And poured it on his head. So now you can and why was wasted so I'm in there so I'll sold for 300 pence to give it to 40 more to get to. Um, even the word pence is a gorgeous father word. <clears throat> 43 pence, 3 plus 2 is a single plus 1, the rest of it is pence. Um, and they murmured 
against her. And Jesus said, let her alone. This one, why trouble ye her, plus one. She hath wrought a good work on me, for ye have the poor with you always and always and always. She hath done what she could, plus one, um, to anoint my body to the burying. Verily I say to you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached over the whole world for memorial of her. And memorial is plus one, and her is plus one. Being 31. Again, and he sendeth forth two of his disciples, Father. Go, Father, into the city. Bearing a pitcher, Father. I was getting all sorts of words for Father. Pitcher, Father, basket, Father, bushel, Father, bowl, Father. Go into the city, and there should be a man bearing a pitcher of water, Father. Go ye into the city, and there shall meet, Father, shall, Father, you, a man, Father, bearing a pitcher of water, follow him. And wheresoever, Father, you shall go in, say ye to the goodman of the house, the master. Oh yeah, don't forget to put the word the in front of master. That'll bump you up to uh, uh, 109 for Father. The Master saith, where is the guest chamber? The room is simple for Father. Where is the guest chamber where I should eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large upper room. So there you go. There's a, there's a triple combo. Large upper room. Plus one, plus one, plus one. And furnished and prepared. There make ready for us, plus one, us. And his disciples went forth and came into the city and found as he had said to them, and they made ready the Passover. She up and I will go see. So, um, the Passover is a gorgeous offset from Father. And plus one in the evening. So God saves the best for last. So pay attention. I sometimes I even think even at the end of your day. And in the evening he cometh with the twelve. And as they sat and did eat, Jesus said, Verily, I say unto you, one of which eateth with me shall betray me. And they began to be sore and say, Is it I? Is it I? Yes, it's one goes to Even the last word, dish, is father. Um, indeed, go with is written, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man betrayed. The last word of Jesus every time, good were it for that man if he had never been born. Like, just all these, it's like, that man, he had never, never is a simple word for father, been born. You just like, such powerful verbiage. It is one of the twelve that dipped me in the dish. The son of man indeed goeth as it is written of him. But, woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good word for that man if he had never been born. Plus one, plus one, plus one. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed and break. Isn't it amazing? The last thing that happens is the breaking of bread. And the word break is the plus one. 
So first the word take, took and take, or plus one. Take the bread, break. But what's the last thing? Break. Salt, plus one. Spice, season, plus one. The last thing that gets done. Father, Father, Father. The best for last. Jesus took bread and blessed and break. Father. And gave to them, Father. So give is Father and gave to them. Another word is pass. Pass me the bread. Give me the bread. Passing, sharing, um, breaking. And, and said, take, the first word, take. The word give and take are plus one, but take, so simple. Take plus eat is plus two, so there's a three fest. This is, there's a gorgeous one, two, one, two, one, two, and this is the famous communion words. Take one, eat two, this two is one. My two, body one. It literally goes like a wave. Okay, one, two, two, one. One, two, one, sorry, not complete, it doesn't. One, two, two, one, two, one. One to all divide by three. Take, eat, this is my body. But it, it, it's, a, again, the first word is plus one, the last word is plus one. Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, plus one, and when he had given thanks, and plus one, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it, and he said unto them, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for me. New, I drink it new in the kingdom of God. There was some that went out to not of all. It's plus one on the sheep. The wizard now will smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. Um. Now is when he starts speaking the name Father. Um, Gethsemane. Wow, Gethsemane is the famous Father. And look at Gethsemane for Father. It's bookended in sixes with the G E. Then there's the T H. Then you have an A and an E, just like Father in the center. Highlight all that. Gethsemane is very stunning, and then you have an NS plus an EM. Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit ye here while I, every word divides by three, while I shall pray. So his overall offset is plus one for the Father. And he taketh with him Peter and James and John. And Peter is always first Father. And name it together to divide by three, and he takes and began to be so amazed and to be very heavy. Very heavy, plus one, plus one. Be very heavy. It's like my soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Terry. Terry, you hear and watch. And the last word watch again. Mm, he fell on the ground, plus one. He prayed that if it were possible, plus one, the hour might pass. So now is when the great name Father comes out, literally. And he said, Abba. One, two, two, one. Abba, three, is it Father. Now the great name Father is here. All things are possible, wow, possible, plus one, unto thee. Take away this cup. Wow, what a symphony of plus ones. 
this verbiage for the Father. Like, this is such epic emotion. Listen to all the plus ones. Take this cup away from me, nevertheless. And there's actually a, a gorgeous plus one combo with nevertheless. Like, the word never is plus one for Father. The is divides by three perfectly. And then less is plus one for Father. And then, so, it's kind of like one-two combo. Nevertheless, plus one, plus one. But now, it's not plus one. What plus one, I will. But now the end is even crazier. But what thou wilt. <laughs> plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, four plus ones, total plus one for father. Even before that, not what I will. That yields a grand offset of plus one. Not what I will, but what thou wilt. <laughs> Plus one, plus one, but what thou wilt. The last word, wilt, very... I mean, what's crazy is all three of those last words are even numbers, too. Wilt is... Um, uh, so 23, 32, 33, 44. Wilt is the great 64. Thou is 52, 36 plus, thou is uh, 28 plus 36, thou equals wilt, 64, wow, and then wilt what is like 52, I think, 24 plus 28, yeah, what is 52, what thou wilt, father, now what's cool, when Jesus said, Abba, Father, Abba equals six. And remember how it's all offsets and sixes, ideally, from Father? So Jesus says, Abba, Father. He's literally stringing out this gorgeous string of, of threes. I mean, Abba, A, B, B, A, three plus three, Father. It's like the little trill before the great word of all words. Abba, Father. It even rolls pleasantly on your lips because you have the A, Starting in, ending, going into the F for Father. Abba, Father. Abba, Father is therefore in total 64, which is the final pair of words in this statement. Thou wilt. But it's all a symphony mathematically for the name above all names, Father. Abba, Father. And then the first word, all. The word thing equals Father. So that's a plus two, all things knits together. All things are possible. Plus one, take away his cup from me, not what I will, what thou wilt. And he cometh and findeth them sleeping, and he cometh, plus one, plus one, plus one, and findeth them sleeping, and saith unto Peter, Peter, father, because Peter, he, he was already grooming Peter to be the leader of the church. He finds them sleeping, three of them, but he says to Peter, he says, you're the leader, you're the one I'm grooming to be the father, I already prophesied, you're going to be the rock upon which I build my church. Peter, plus one, he said unto Peter, Simon, plus one, father. Peter is 64, too. Simon, sleepest thou? <laughs> father, sleep. Uh, couldest not thou watch one hour? Bang, 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 bang. It's just ridiculous how it all knits plus one. And then watch comes out again. Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The Spirit, wow, this is a revelation here by way of confirmation. The Spirit is plus one. The Spirit is ready, but the flesh is plus two. Now, both are sacred in the design of God. Okay, The Spirit knits together with the flesh to make a gorgeous trinity three-fest, but the Spirit is most important. The spirit is what lasts forever. So the spirit is plus one. Um, when you say the spirit, as you should, that adds to 124, which is 66 over Father. Um, truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. But I love the fact that the last word is the plus one again, like the word weak. Knits together with the word ready to make a multiple of three, just like the reverse of spirit and flesh. Gorgeous, okay. Um, in fact, it's amazing, though, how the word ready and weak both contain the E-A at the center, just like father. So, you already know those both. Like, the word ready, I can see, 
is, is the word read at the beginning. Reading and writing is father. And then you can say readiness is also father offset. Um, week. <laughs> week is 40. 64. 68. And that's the 93. Spirit and journey. And again he went away and prayed and spake the same words. That is huge. And again he went away and prayed. <laughs> Never forget the word and, folks. It starts with a plus one, it ends with a plus one. It's there for the Father. And spake. Notice the word spake uses the same letters as speak, so it's plus one Father. And spake the same words. Final word, words, Father. Same knits together, Trinity glorifying experience, 3, 2, 1, and the phrase, the same words. <laughs> But, I mean, Jesus himself said, like, if Jesus repeats something, no less he's talking to the Father, like, that means, re if Jesus went and prayed the same words, like, revisit. So we studied Abba, Father, and that whole thing, it was just plus one, plus one, plus one. And when he returned, he found him asleep again, asleep is Father, and uh, asleep equals Father. He found them, and you have the A-E in there, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were hitting the other wits, they want to answer him. And he cometh the third time, and saith unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. It is enough. It is enough, is Father. Enough. How many had a dad that said, Enough is enough, or just enough? <laughs> like when dad says enough, it's enough. So enough of this. So enough is Father. Stop is Father. Enough is enough. Father, it is enough. The hour is come. Behold, Father, the Son of Man, Father, is, Father, betrayed into the hands. The hands. I forgot to put the word the in front of hands. That makes it awesome. Because, well, hands is 46, you know, that. Of sinners. <laughs> Rise up. Let us go. Lo, he that betrayeth me is it. I find it remarkable that even the name Judas is plus one. And they had swords and staves. Sword is plus one, just like stave. This is mind-blowing, the sovereignty of God. Because now that I know that kiss equals father, and you're like, that is the means by which Judas betrayed Jesus, that's so utterly mind-blowing. So filthy, master, master, and kissed him. Unbelievable. Unbelievably disgusting. I'm a nice guy, I'm a nice guy, you demon. <laughs> it's just gross. Oh, have mercy on us all. And they laid their hands on him and took him. And the scriptures follow me over a second. Mm. Mm. Christ, the Son of the Blessed. Threes. And Jesus said, I am. And ye shall see the Son of Man 
sitting on the right hand of power. Amazing. And coming. And again, the last word. And coming in the clouds of heaven. The right hand of power. The Father plus one. Last word, wept. Jesus wept. Wept, Father. Hmm. It's amazing to me how Pilate's name, as by way of comparison, Pilate divides by three. Just, the Father was above Pilate. I'm just throwing it out there. Um... I'm going to open for more of the red letters. Oh yeah, the vinegar. The vinegar was the last thing that Jesus tasted. Vinegar plus one. And then loud voice. Jesus cried with a loud voice, Father. And gave up the ghost. And the veil of the temple was rent in twain father oh this is so cool it was rent in twain from the top to the bottom and the word bottom is father the last word goes to father rent in twain from the top to the bottom amazing and so the, the word from is plus one from the top to the bottom father bottom very bottom. The last word. Mm. My God, my God. Why hast thou? Isn't it amazing? The word thou actually belongs to us addressing God. Like, we think of that as people to people, but God is the greatest person. It's like, why hast thou, like Jesus talking to the Father, why hast thou, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? Even that final phrase is a, is a treasure mine of plus ones. So when Jesus says, my God, um, Disturbingly, as it's transliterated verbatim in the King James, the red letters, Edoi, Edoi, Lama, Sabachthani, that's also a plus one offset. Um, God is sovereign, so you can go there. My God, my God. Each phrase is plus one. My God, my God. Father, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? A final plus one. Three plus ones in a row. My God. Now you know why he repeated himself. My God, my God. Why hast thou forsaken me? My God, 38 plus 26. Um, 
no, sorry, 13 plus, yeah, 38 plus 26. It's the great 64 again. Again and again, my God, my God. He says it twice, my God, my God. Why hast thou forsaken me? In fact, it's the same, uh, wow, it's, it's, and then the keyword thou is again that 64. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Father, Father, Father. Three sentences that are Father. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Father, Father, Father. The whole thing is a giant maximum symphony to the Father. Why hast thou forsaken me? And the final um Yeah. So that's there's your plus two for from for forsaken and why. And then someone gets a sponge, which is plus one. With vinegar plus one. They render Elias as it is. That's plus one. We'll come to take him down. And Jesus cried with a loud voice. Love. Wow. Loud voice. The letters end in Father. Father owns... I mean, the Father technically has the loudest voice of anyone in the universe. But the, the letters loud voice end in Father and have 48 on top. Okay, so it's Father plus 48, which is um, 106, and gave up the ghost, that plus one. If you say spirit, that's plus one. And the veil of the temple was rent. You can use the word torn, which is plus one for Father. That's fine. But the word two and twain are both awesome.